Welcome to this short presentation of marigold composters from Prudent Ecosystems. We present these as an effective solution for converting urban solid waste into rich organic manure or compost. Most often, people are concerned about the odor due to waste processing in the vicinity of their homes. Let us tell you about marigold composters which help you process waste in a clean and neat manner, making it suitable for installation at apartments, villa communities and commercial and industrial complexes. Apart from concerns due to odor, many ask why at all do we need to compost at source when there are existing alternatives like taking away waste. When our waste is taken away, we usually don't know where it ends up. Here is some information showing existing capacities of different waste processing plants for the city of Bangalore. While the city is estimated to generate about 4,000 metric tons daily or 40 lakh kilos, the installed capacity of the waste processing plants is just 1,870 metric tons per day. In other words, the existing capacity can handle less than 50% of the waste generated. So if your waste is being carried away, there is a more than 50% chance that it cannot be processed. So if the waste cannot be processed, what happens to it? The waste is supposed to go to a designated landfill. Every landfill is near some village or town and understandably there are protests from those residents. Why should our waste be dumped in their vicinity? This report from the Hindu shows that waste that can neither be processed nor put in a landfill is set on fire. We all know what happens with burning. All the smoke and pollution affects the health of people. Wouldn't it be much better if there was a clean way to deal with waste? Before we describe our composters, let us take a moment to share with you our guiding principles while designing our composters and what exactly we mean by passive technology. Among the guiding principles, reliability and robustness come first so that our units should be low and easy on maintenance and have a long life. The simpler the solution, the more reliable and robust it is. Hence, our priority in design was on simplicity. The next guiding principle was to make our solution as natural as possible. Hence, we try to harness whatever is available in nature, sunlight, air, microbes and renewable material like dry leaves and cocoa peat. Lastly, and perhaps the most challenging of the guiding principles, is to avoid plastic as much as possible. Though it reduces cost drastically, at the end of its life, it is not good for the environment and best avoided. Hence, our composters are made of steel. In keeping with our goal of creating simple and reliable solutions, we have adopted passive technology. Let us look at a couple of examples which have inspired us. Shown here are three acoustic devices. The one circled in red is a popular cassette player of the 1980s. Some of us might still have one at home. But does it work as well as when it was new? Or does it work at all? We would be surprised if it does. The next device shown here is a stethoscope. It is completely passive. It has no electronics and consumes no power. The first model was created 200 years ago and even the flexible tube version in 1850. But it is still the instrument of choice for doctors while examining patients. It is a great example of how reliable and robust passive technology can be. Contrast it with a cassette player of the 1980s, which might not work at all today. The final example of passive technology is the Golconda Fort. It has an audio system that has been working for about 500 years. The sound of someone clapping hands at the entrance can be heard almost a kilometer away at the top. There are also other acoustic marvels all built in stone with a great understanding of the physics of sound. Inspired by passive technology, we have created marigold composters which have no moving parts and use no electricity. In keeping with our affinity to all things natural, the additives are renewable natural material like cocoa peat or dry leaf powder. 
our customers need not depend on us for the regular supply of consumables. The design makes aerobic composting efficient and requires waste to be kept inside for just 12 days. The more efficient the composting, the lower the investment needed for our system. Since our composters are meant to be kept close to homes, the aerobic technique of composting produces almost no odor and people can be trained in less than a week. The composters can be placed in gardens or open terraces as shown in the picture and do not need special sheds. Lastly, the compost that is the organic manure produced is suitable not only as an additive to soil but can serve as a soil substitute or a potting mix. The procedure of composting in short is as follows. Chop the waste, coat it with cocoa peat and mix thoroughly. Daily maintenance is needed to ensure that there is the right amount of moisture in the mix and it is neither too wet nor too dry. After 12 days, the mix is removed from the composter to make room for fresh waste and then transferred into a jute bag or other container which allows some exposure to air. This is for curing the compost. When we monitor the core temperature, we see that there is a rapid heating up and a rise in temperature in the first few days and the temperature can even cross 70 degrees centigrade. Thereafter, there is a gradual reduction till it stabilizes a little above ambient temperature. Across all seasons, we have seen that this takes 12 days. After this, the mix is removed for curing. The sunlight that is let in by our composter helps in raising the temperature a bit like in a greenhouse, but sunlight is not essential but just good to have. The heat generated and the temperature rise is mainly due to bacterial action and the solar heat helps it. The community composters come in three sizes, 180 litre, 360 litre and 540 litre. The 180 litre or large size occupies a floor space of approximately 1 metre by 1 metre and can serve the needs of 15 to 20 homes. The 360 litre or extra large size occupies a floor space of 1.2 metre by 1.2 metre and serves 30 to 40 homes. Both the 180 litre and the 360 litre composters are made of steel. The inner vessel which comes in contact with the wet waste is made of stainless steel. The largest size is 540 litre or ultra large size and is built from concrete and has some steel parts too. Unlike the other two models, this is not portable and occupies a floor space of about 1.8 meter by 1.8 meter. It can serve 45 to 60 homes. These capacities are stated assuming proper shredding is done. Note that regardless of size, the minimum system always needs two composters. As mentioned earlier, the first step in our process is to chop the waste into in-size pieces. A powered shredder is recommended if the daily waste is more than about 50 kgs per day. For smaller capacities, hand shredding with garden shears is a good and economical option. The fully cured compost has been tested in laboratories and found to be very rich in nutrients and is a great organic manure for plants. It also serves as a soil substitute and can be used as a potting mix for small pots and containers making them very lightweight and suitable for balcony and terrace gardening without the use of soil. Over the last three years, Marigold has been successfully composting wet waste in several communities and some industrial canteens in Bangalore. As of January 2018, we have an installed capacity of over 1.3 metric tons per day in composting. To help in consistent quality of composting, we also offer trained labor service where a supervised team can come and compost the waste in a neat and clean manner. Thank you for watching and listening and we hope that you adopt wet waste composting at your home, apartment or industrial canteen. Do write to us for more information on how we can help you set up a composting system.